Bebe. person that is not present with us here is Tukudozie, the firstborn of this family. I give God the praise. I give him all the glory that we are all in one peace, that we are all healthy, and our various families are all in and happy. Who are we that the Lord is mindful of us? Even with our shortcomings, He still showers His blessings on all of us. Papa, Mama, we are serving a covenant keeping God. Yes, and always, always, He keeps His words. And the greatest <laughs> favor He has done for us is to give us peace. Oh, yeah. And so shall it remain in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Him particularly for what he is doing in your business. I thank him too, Papa. In fact, I give God all the praise. Look at this place. Look at this place. How magnificent. Sam, each time I look at this place, each time I behold this edifice, oh, I keep wondering, how would anybody ever have expected that I would ever have a place like this? Son, uh, I say I thank you. I thank you. Hmm? Papa. Papa, it is nothing. Believe me, it is nothing. I will do more. You know, I keep telling myself that the gods chose you to become the Igwe. Despite your, permit me to say, your financial condition. <laughs> it, it shows me, makes me believe strongly that you are a great man. Oh, son, son, son. I bless God for your life. I thank you too. Yes. You know, um, since your elder brother Tukudo Zia left for Germany 10 years ago, oh, I thank God that you have stood in the gap as man of the house. Solid! Aqua Akolo! Unshakable, unmovable. Thank you. You're welcome, Papa. The truth is, I see everything as my responsibility. Everything. And 
I will never complain. And then again, I believe that someday, in fact, very soon, you will see your son Chidos here again. Oh, that. He will come back to Nigeria. <laughs> uh, when will that be? Is it when I'm down in the grave? Uh, of course not. Don't say that. You will see him in your lifetime. Hmm. We we'll leave all that to God. Yes. Son, I called you here specifically because I want to ask uh, a favor from you. Hmm. You will ask anything. Please, hmm? yes. Hmm? I'm listening. Good. I want you to incorporate your brother, Ekene, into your business. Let him learn from you. That way, I mean, he will become useful in life. He will make contributions. To society at large and particularly to to us here that way you will also leave this village mm. can I, I can I, my brother I've heard what you said Papa. Mm. has come to this our small village. <laughs> no, see, 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 see all these all these new houses. In a twinkle of an eye, houses just just spark up. <laughs> see? Even that, that big one over there. Brother, you haven't seen anything honestly. See, our village is fast becoming a city. Oh yeah. And you know very soon they will complete the airport. Eh? And we'll have more development. Of place. course. And that means the economic situation of our village, this small village will improve. It really has to improve. Come, come, come. See, see, see that other big one there? Uh, that was the one I told you they started two months back. Two months? I'm telling you. Give me that chance. Come on. You lost as you own every lost out of this whole village. <laughs> but my brother, you know, even at that, yes. our people are suffering. You're right. You're right. You're right. Aha. Uh -huh, it brings me to mm, this, this issue. Uh, Papa told me something. And... Uh, Coincidentally, it's something I've been thinking about for a while now. So I said I was going to tell you. What's that? Mm. Hey, Kenneth. Mm? I want you to go back with me to Asaba. I want you to join my business. Learn the trade very well. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't give my tell me good in us, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll go to Asaba with you. <laughs> oh God, I, I'm grateful, my brother. It's Honestly. okay. It's thank okay. you. You don't have to thank me. Whatever pinches you, pinches me as well. Ha! One name. God bless you. God bless you for me. <laughs> God bless you too. Sir. Ah, James, oh, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Good day. Good day. James, this is my brother. Okay. Yeah? Welcome, sir. Thank yes, you. He'll be joining us from today. Very nice. Hope you've cleaned everywhere. Yes, I'm just done. Okay, okay, go ahead. Put the on the yeah? This is where I'm managing. Yeah. They're more for my own. I man. They're more for So, you will join us and learn the tricks of business. Yeah, I, I definitely will let. Let me show you a few other things. Yeah. 
You're home, Penny. I'm a little sad. Oh. Okay, look at this. What? What is this? What, what happened? I don't know how to explain it. But it's just what happened today. Good. What is this one? Hmm? How are we going to go? This is the only source of income. Only, only source of hope. The only source of survival. I am terribly confused. The company said they are cutting down on their workforce. Uh, uh, um, and you have to be amongst the rejected ones. That is what it means. Hey! But what bothers me is how I can get another job in this jobless society. Well, what should this happen to us now? Hmm? Not that you need more money. Hmm? <sighs> I don't really know what to do. But I can see her times ahead of us. Please take it easy. The thought of many things drives a man crazy. Please. I know. But what is bothering me is our survival. How do we survive? I know that our financial status is down and things are really bad. And if you attract hypertension, this will increase our trouble. Yes, I know. I know. But when I look at the magnitude of what is facing me, I can't help, you know, getting worried. Darling, it is natural. We are together in this. It's our pain. Our cross. I just wish these days never came. I just wish I can wake up and everything comes back to normal again. Take it easy. There could be a miracle. Did you say miracle? Yes. You think it's possible? Of course. But I don't see any ray of hope at all. Let us put our faith in God Almighty. Hmm? Okay. If you say so. Drink water. Take more water. Hmm? Thank you very much. If you calm your heart down. Good. Ada. Just look at you. You really enjoy, you know. My dear. Hey. <laughs> Enjoying what? In this lonely house. Lonely quoi? Make I hear what? <laughs> Where is your husband? You're still asking. <laughs> like you don't know. As okay. usual, he has traveled. <laughs> so where this time around? He's gone for a refresher course in America. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you <Your> worst. <laughs> <laughs> Nana loneliness gets you. <laughs> Hey, see, babes, um, Amaka called me. And she wasn't sounding really nice on the phone. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Hmm. I heard that her husband lost his job. And you know, things haven't really good for them. Hey, God. He lost his job. Yeah. My sister is in trouble. So, what is she going to do now? Who? Hey. God is in control. We will do the much that we can as humans. It is in God's hands to help that man. If you're right, do Hey. Anyways, have you been? No, we were just there. We called the whole person there. there. You. You always in need of money. Babes, chill. Always in need of money. Always in need of money. I beg. <laughs> mm -hmm. My brothers. My house is on fire. 
Oh, Jenny. Ever since my husband lost his job, things have been so rough for us. Look at it now. We have not even been able to pay my son's school fees. Ah, ah. Sister, is it that serious? See me now. Hmm? I can't even attend the Antinata clinic. It, do you know I have to trek from my house to this place? Yeah. You mean you trekked in your condition? What will I do? It's okay. It's okay, sister. You don't have to. You don't have to worry yourself anymore. At least you're here. Okay, how much do we have in the drawer? I don't think it's much. I went to the bank yesterday. Maybe around 60,000 naira. Okay, get me the money. I don't bother It's okay. Thank you, my prince. How is Ebuka? Ebuka is fine. He's doing well. He just found that. Brother. Hmm? That's all. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sister. You can have this. What's my brother? My prince. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. God bless you. God bless you too. Okay. okay. I have to leave now. Okay. Great book for me. Yeah, we're here. All right. My regards to you. Yeah, we're here. Stand by your Oh. <laughs> Carry my file about town, and at the end of the day, I get nothing. I'm really tired of all that. It is well. Everything is going to be all right, okay? Hmm. I went to see my brothers, Dube and Ekene. And I also went to pay Ebuka school fees. You did? Yes, I did. And how did you get the money? Your brother again? Do I have any option? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I also went for my accidental clinic. You really surprised me. You are indeed a vicious woman. I am very proud of you. I am surprised that in spite of your present condition, you are still struggling for our survival. Everything will be okay. It's okay. I told you we are all in this together. I agree with you. Thank you. James! Sir? James! What's up? Come. Take some money from the door. You know now. You can want anything. Buy me. Buy me from you. Of course. Ah, of course. Same thing, same thing you buy from me. Hurry up. Uh, this just work. Mm. Hey, Kenneth. Brother. Within the past few months you've been here, yeah. you have shown me that you can do this business very well. Thank you. I would like to raise your knowledge a little bit higher. I want you to start going to Malaysia for a good. Me, Malaysia. Yes. I don't give you the Malaysia. That way, you will get more mature in the business and you will be more exposed. Hey. But, brother, you know, I've never been out of this country before. I know. Just like me. I was once like you, but one day I started. Here I am today. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. If you feel I can, fine. Yes, I believe you can do it. So your travel documents and every other thing will soon be ready. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Malaysia. Okay. Sir, the, the Lord will give your wife a safe delivery. Thank you. Lord, grant my wife a safe delivery, just like the women of the Everything is okay. Uh, yeah, your wife is in good condition. Oh, beautiful. What about the baby? You have a set of twins. Congratulations. Set of twins? Is this a set of twins? Yes. Ah, sir, you've not made any payment at all. So please, you go to the cashier and make the necessary payments. It's okay. It's okay. Good. Excuse me. As you're reading this letter, I'm on my way out of this vicinity. Don't bother looking for me. You will not find me. I know you're heartbroken now, but bear this in mind. I love you, Ebuka, and the newborn twins. I can't take care of you and the kids any longer. I can't take care of you and the kids any longer, but I know with the help of your people you will survive. I know that one day I will see my own green pasture and I will come back for you. Bye for now, my love. Break the news to her. I don't know. I don't know. Amaka doesn't need this at this moment. She doesn't. Oh God, this is crazy. I mean, what is wrong with John? He's not the first person to lose his job. Neither will he be the last. How? I mean, how? 
What do we do? Honestly, Papa. Honestly. Amaka is in so much pain. See what John is doing to my daughter. Even if things are so hard that they cannot eat again, does that warrant his running away? John has simply shown that he is incapable of keeping a family. A man who runs away in the face of his challenges is simply a coward. A very big one. A very big coward. That is what John is. Things are hard for everyone, not just him. Imagine what my daughter is passing through because of a man who has no liver to, to live up to his responsibilities. So, what do we do? How do we take care of Amaka and the children? How? No, Papa, you don't have to bother yourself. I've taken care of things. Yes, I've cleared the hospital bills, so they have been discharged. You have? I am going back to the city with you. I want to be nearer my daughter. Yes. For your Omogwa. Amaka, please, my daughter, stop crying. Do you want to kill yourself? What be your tears with your dear daughter? You have lost nothing. Mama, tell her. Tell her. I don't know why she wants to kill herself over nothing. It is obvious John is a coward. He couldn't stand his responsibility. Yes. Look, we are here for you. There's no way your brothers and sisters will be alive and see you suffer. Where's you go? In China, get this now. Always my own different. Your own is not different. What am I doing wrong? Everybody is happy on the birth of a child. But my own is so crazy. Yes. You don't need him anymore. Believe me, you don't need him. You just have something better. Make him stop crying. Yes. Please. Please. Sister Maka, you have us. And that is more than enough. That's all. Not so crying. John's action amounts to gross irresponsibility and cowardice. How could he? Ogo, our sister is going through hell. Men don't really appreciate the things God does for them. Imagine my husband and I have been childless for years. And then a man runs away just because he had a set of twins. Gosh, mm. it's pathetic. I'm telling you. If only I could have just one. Oh. Hmm? Only one I ask of you, oh God, calm just down. one child. Just calm down, it is okay. You're gonna have a child, right? God's time is the best. Just calm down. Is it not time for me to have a child of my own? Is it not yet time for me to have a child of my own? Uh, listen, Ada. I have learned to be patient and constantly wait for the Lord. I put my hope and trust in the Lord because I know someday His will will be done. Oh, I believe in God, and I know he can do all things, but let it be now. Let him do it now. Just, just calm down, all right? I, I understand your feelings. I, like, I feel everything you feel. You're going to have a child because the Lord we serve is a living God. You're going to have a child, okay? Please, don't just start. It's really let him do it be, now. It is okay, yeah? It's all right. Please. What is it again? Are you still crying? Eh? Look, let me tell you what has happened has happened. And there's no tears that can change the situation. Eh? Come, my dear. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. Come and eat your food. 
Come, come, come. I don't want to eat. I know what you're going through. It's painful. Come, come. Come, my dear. Come with me. Come and eat. Come, my dear. I know it's painful. My children, we are all living witnesses to what befell Amaka, your sister. Her husband abandoned her and her children in hospital. We must not allow her to suffer. We must not allow people to mock her. We must stand tall as family and make her proud of us. Yes, my children. That means that all her responsibilities are now our own responsibilities. And we must not let her suffer. I thank both of you for reminding us of the enormous task ahead. I want to assure you that we are already doing something to help the situation. I spoke with um, Chikudoze yesterday and he has promised to also send money to her occasionally. I don't think we should bother about this. I believe sister will not suffer. And if we give her any reason to regret this, even for a minute, then something is wrong with us. Igwe. Mm. My brothers and sisters, I am, I am very grateful. I thank you very much for thinking about me this way. Thank you. You have lifted a lot of burden off my shoulder. I don't know what I would, I would have been able to do without you. Thank you very much. God bless you all. My children, I feel so relieved. I feel so relieved that I am already walking tall. Those assuring words coming from you. Oh, I'm so grateful to you. I'm particularly grateful to God that this bond of family is still very much intact. past one year and eight months you have been with me, you have shown great strength and ability in managing a business. Thank you, brother. Again, you did not come here to learn the business just for learning sake. No. I brought you here so you can make a living. Yeah, that, that, that's true. So I have, um, I have thought about everything and I have come to the conclusion that I need to settle you. <laughs> so <clears throat> here you go. Take this and kick off from there. Two million nine. Jesus Christ. All this for me? Yes, all of it for you. I want you to take it, start life, start your own business, focus 
and do it well. Well, I thank you very much. I, I'm very grateful. God bless you. God bless you too. But before you take off, the biggest gratitude you can show to me is making sure you put this money to good use. I promise not to let you down. I will put it to good use. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> decision to make your brother independent. It's <laughs> uh, a wonderful idea. <laughs> well, uh, it's, uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I, I think it's about time. I need him to stand like a man and fight for the future. Mm. I thank you once again. Ah, Papa. Papa, you don't have to thank me. It is the least one should do for his own brother. Ah, don't thank me. <laughs> how many brothers? How many of them knows how to help their brothers? How many? You got your own elder brother, Chukudose. Since he traveled out overseas to Germany, has he helped anybody? Has he? Baba, can you just leave Chidoze? Life is not a bed of roses over there. It's not. Anyway, Chidoze is not a reason I summon you. You're not getting younger any longer. I want you to get married. Hmm? Marriage. Papa, me. <laughs> Papa, not me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm not even thinking about marriage now. It is the least thing on my mind. Besides, my elder brother Chidoze is not yet married. So what am I rushing for? Son, you have to start giving it a serious thought. You will even give it top priority. I talk to the people that are close to me. Your elder brother, Jidose. Whenever he returns, we will discuss his own issue. For now, I'm talking with you. Papa, is it, is it possible we leave this marriage issue and talk about something else? Or would that be too much to ask? Talk about what else? My friend, Please, sister, my name is this. Yeah, it's not really much, but you know, I just said to them. But don't worry, by next week, I'll be able to answer. Don't so much. Thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Aha, okay. the children, how are they? Well, they are the Yeah, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Where's my brother? He went out. He went out for a long time. He didn't tell me where he was going to. Oh, shit. Let me call No, no, let me call him. Yeah. yeah, I'm in your shop now. I need um, five size tools. Um, yes. Ten center tables and then two sets of dining table. Yeah, yeah, I'm there now. He's around. Okay, okay. Don't stop it. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're in the store. 
Yes. Okay, okay, no problem. Hello? Okay, yeah. All right. All right, thank you. You heard what you said, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, hurry up. I'll let's, go to let's, I'll go to the store and get them. Okay. You said you have something to tell me. Brother, I, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm grateful for showing me the way to success. <laughs> you can uh, you can have one one name we'll give you. And again, I am particularly fond of you. Whatever I, I did for you and I'll still do is what I should do for your papa. You don't have to thank me. Thank you. It's okay. I would also want to let you know I will be moving into my new apartment next week. Huh. Why? I mean, look at my, my, my house. It's, it's, it's big enough for both of us. Well, why? Yeah, I know, but you know, like you always tell me, I think it's about time I became a man. Uh, well, yes. I, I've always said that, but honestly, I didn't know you really so soon. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't give you prime notice. Okay, all right, it's uh Odiki, you put a go on one put a little phone one. Ah But I will get to go one. It's okay. I wish you I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Sam. Father. Sam. Now that you're on your own, you must be careful. You must be serious with your business. No unserious mind ever achieves greatness. I hope you know that. I can add a little. Mama. This world you see is deeper than you see it. Whatever a man sows, that he will reap. What you sow is what you will reap. Did you hear me? Papa, Mama, I have heard everything you told me and I promise to put it to good use. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, why are you packing out of your brother's house? My dear, do you have any problems with your brother? No, no, not at all. I don't have any problems with Dubim. My moving out of the house is part of the process of my becoming a man and taking responsibilities for myself. Ezioku. Yes, ma'am. Well, you have to be careful. Careful. What did I say? Careful. I shall be careful, Papa. And you didn't tell me you sold it, so I would make order for it. I'm sorry, baby. She came on the emergency, so I had to. Hey, my God! Hey, make us my man! Make us my man! How far now? What comes on? See, I stole fast. See you, as a person. Come, where have you been for the past two weeks? My brother, I had to go and see my girlfriend. You know, my girlfriend just came back. Which which day is that? Wait. Because of the girl, you switched up your food. She's not just a girl, she's my girlfriend. Hey, I know her very well and I know she's not as special as my Sandra, okay? Especially when they talk, who is Sandra? Sandra to me is just one of those girls who cruise your bed. Eh, that is what I think. <laughs> I will say whatever you want. Anyway, why would I even want to settle with one girl when I have access to all the girls? Tell me something. Tell me, eh? I just taste the waters, you know. Like, flesh when you're young, girl, like when you're old. Okay. Eh? 
The bill I say no no is 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 actually very real. I'm certain about that. I know it is real. I know what I'll do. My guy catch for. No, they do all this out by party way. Come on, come on, take care. Nah, this is a short dog. Nice finish. I got to. Did I get that? Hey, hey, we got. Go 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 go. Hey, we. What is it? I mean, something seems to be bothering you. Amiga. I don't know what is happening to me. Every day my business keeps going down and down and down. I can't figure out what is happening. Are you sure you're not selling below your cost price? Could I be selling below my cost price? No. I know I, I know what other people sell and I sell at the same rate. That's why this whole thing baffles me. This is very, very serious. <sighs> you know sales girls and sales boys of this of this era, not really, really trustworthy. But uh are you sure your sales boy is not stealing from you? No, no, no. My my sales boy doesn't have any access to my money. No, that's why I'm surprised. Yes, I handle all my cash. Well, uh, Makene, I don't really know what to say. You know. Mika, this is frustrating now. Eh? This is frustrating. How can I possibly be walking like an elephant and eating like an ant? It, it's not right. It's not normal. Well, for me, I would advise you as a friend, you know, because we've been in this line before, so I would just say, you try harder. Business is never easy. Just, just try. Something, I think something will come up for you. Ah, I don't know what else to try that I haven't tried, I... Well, she did the one. Can't you look for somebody else? You don't even know her very well. What problem do you have with her? She doesn't look like a, a good girl. Moreover, we have to be careful the kind of people we are bringing into this family. <laughs> 